Hello, hello, it's me, Oki Poki, and welcome back to some more Remnant 2 build videos. And today we're going to be showcasing the Corrupted Arbalus build. And hopefully you guys enjoy, and if you do, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, let's jump right in. Let's go. There you go. Oop. Oop, brother. There you go. Thousand. That's ninety five. That's some damage. Dark. That's ninety five pretty decent damage though for a shot. Whoop. There you go. There you go. Now we can actually hit everything else. Where is she at? Behind me, probably. There you go. Damage. Nice. Dodge that. Oop. Nice one. Need to get my mod up again. Let's go. Try to get the debuff on her. Whoop. Be higher. There you go, we good. Quick. Challenger. Oh. Be jumping. There you go. One and two. Really? Now let's go. Oop. There you go, we good. Challenges. Keeping me from getting knocked out by my own stuff. Using it as like a pre getting like no stun lock immune. Oh, you're yeah, not getting sunlock. Ah. Uh. There you go. Getting hit by my own stuff. Second swipe. Okay, we're good. That's a 174. Behind me. Pick. Okay, I'm halfway there. Cool, we good. Again. There you go. Boom. There you go, one more. Nice, we good. Challenger. Can I just keep nuking up from that, that angle? There you go, got it. Got the board power in the game at the same time. Behind me. Got him. Switch. Nice, we good. We good. Should be dead now. Last setup. There you go. GG. And nope. Let's go. Pre dodge. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I got hurt.
Why is my damage, bro? Okay, we're good. Right next to me. The curve, for sure. Ah, I missed everything. Let me heal myself. Hopefully I'm okay. Should be fine. Should be fine. I'm dead. Oh god. Still fine. Spinning. Okay, we good. We good, we good. Awesome time. Okay, we good. Early. Spin. Yeah. We're doing fine. Spin. Two. Three. We good. One. Max out. One more hit. There you go, there's no gap. Spin, yep. Oh god, three times. So again, again. Waiting. Nice one. They're all dead now. Whew. Reload this. Last time. Yep. Okay, we good. Okay. Give us stamina back. That was so stupid of me. Spinning. Yeah, we're good. Whoop. Whoop. Okay, we're good. I could actually blow up, but I don't think I should try. But. Spin. One, two, and then number three. We're good. Should be dead now, yeah. Last one. There you go. I win. GG! Woo! Woo! That was fun. Let's go! Welcome back, guys. This is my first version of the build. Let's jump into it. We got the Gunslinger with the Bullet Storm and Challenger with Rampage ability. Those two are really good because uh, you can actually get so much DPS out of them. And that's self explanatory. And Detonation Trigger for the explosive from the proc of the new Corrupted Arbalest, the Guardian Fury mod. Wind Hollow Circles for reloading speed. Saying the Amalys for weak spot damage. Tempest Conduit for the resistance to elemental damage. And when I take um, damage from self explosion. Which is fine. And Gunslinger for sw swapping speed and reloading speed. Next thing is the reprocess hat for the mod generation. Which you don't have to worry because of the trait I picked. That you can actually regen life really pretty fast. So that's, that's okay. It's all Gucci. The relic inside is mythic mod damage. Mythic mod duration. Mythic uh, range damage. And that is it for relics. The next thing is the weapon itself, which is a build around, which is the Corrupted Arbalest. I have already max upgraded, and the actual attachment I put on it is Bullet Weavers. Basically, increase your firing rate when you use the mod by 20%, and when it hit level 10, increase mod generation by 15, which is really nice for self-generation for the mod to come back again. Loop the cycle. I use the Hunter Spear. I don't actually put any mutator on it. Use the charge attack to throw it to get corrosive proc, which is fine. And also Anguish as well. I use the Anguish for the same similar reason. I use the Fetish Wound to proc 
them so they take more damage from unique negative effects from burning from detonation trigger and the fetish wound corrosive and fire at the same time and that's just it for the actual character build and now if we're talking about the traits i took uh, ammo reserve strong back kinship flash cast expertise amplitude siphoner flash stream flattery we get spirit back skin and that's pretty much it for the the traits and that's how you build the first thing and i can actually show you what the damage is like now again if you miss out on that the good stuff so and this is what the damage is like let's show you guys and boom there you go do you see the damage i think you can get about 70ks if i'm hitting this correctly I'm not miss it but this is without the proc of the anguish but with the proc it's probably do way more about 68k but yeah with the anguish proc as well in the beginning you'll probably get 70k but yeah that's the build deal about 70k on rotation but that is the first build and hopefully you guys like that first build yeah let's move on to the second one let's go where was talker what she got over there look at that man Alright, we're good. Halfway. 2k. Okay. Could have killed him. I got power complex, so I can't really dodge. But that uh, should be dead now. Should bounce on that. Should be dead now. Come on. Uh, he's dodged my ammo. I run out. Dead. GG. GG. Wait until you come over here. Dodge. Good. Now it's time to go ham on him. Let's go. Ham. Alright, I'll wait there. Good luck. Before my power went out. One down. Dodge that. Gotta dodge again anyway, so I'm fine. Good luck. Got it. Got gun. And here. There I go. Keep hitting myself. Water. Oh God. Power complex, bro. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. To be enough, then. Nice. Last one. Touch. Dead. Nope. Oh, new move. I didn't see that before. Did you? Good job. Let's go. The bouncing is not that good. Halfway. I see that. Almost half life already. One down. Two. And then it's only that low. Probably one of the corners. Nice. Wanna 
a big damage to like 2k there. There you go. Below that. One down. Three. And last one, I think. No, it's not last one. A lie. to the podium we can hit you no it's not what I want man it's not what I want double hit fire reload that There you go. Now, he'll be able to kill him. Almost, and... No! Don't go in there again, bro. Uh, that last phase, come on. Got him, GG! Let's go! Welcome back to the second version of this build. So this build using two new archetypes and new item as well. So let's go, let's get into it. So we're using Dead Wish from Ritualist and Challengers again with Rampage. The reason why I went with Dead Wish is because they actually buff it now. They actually make it so that Kinship can actually protect you from draining too many life. But also they, they nerf the other aspect of it as well. With this, it actually increases your damage so much by 35% and grant the 10% life seal on top of what you already have. And the next thing, the amulet that I'll be using is the Abrasive Redstone. When attacking a bleeding enemy, you get like quit chance and quit damage, and it's so nice, super nice. On top of that, I stack it with probably called with 30% quit damage, and then I got power complex. If you dodge, you lose the stack, but if you don't dodge for a while, like 15 seconds or so, you get 15% damage increase to to all damage. And then senior malice for the weak spot damage again, and canceling a ring because it's swapping speed and reloading speed. It's so nice together. And Avalus, I went for the second one. I went with the twisted wound plus 10, and the spear. I did the same thing. I didn't really care about the spear too much, but I use it to proc. Corrosion and Ankush, I went with Fresh Wound as usual to proc Corrosion. So now you got Bleed Corrosion with Repossessed Heart this time. I go with Mythic Mod Damage, Range Crit Damage, and Range Crit Chance. So you can notice that this time we go with more Crit Chance and Crit Damage to get higher damage multiply. But yeah, that is the second character overview. And then now we go to Trait Affliction, Strong Back, Kinship Slash Caster, Wigger, Spirit, Expertise, Amplitude, Siphoner, Bloodstream, Handling. Pretty much how you build that second variation of the characters. And this character have way more damage. So let me show you guys. Also, the the reason why I took Challenger twice is because um, Challenger with Rampage actually is increased stacker level, meaning that you won't get stunned by your own explosive. Hence why I'm using it again. So this is what you're gonna see. And boom, look at this. See, I don't get stunned by my own explosion. But also, since I don't have the Shinnerton Trigger, I can just keep going ham, like 3k. I don't blow myself up either. But even if the Shinnerton Trigger, I can not get stunned. Until I run up um, Rampage and then I get stunned again. And right now, see, 85, 85k is reasonable, it's way more than normal. But if I use the anguish to proc, like corrosion in, in the beginning, I would actually do way more damage, so. But yeah, it's about 90k, I think, 90k is something. I could probably show it again. Let's try again with anguish in, built in. I go big, big damage, because of the armor strip. Ninety-two K. There you go. Ninety-two K. 
with the Anchors like debuff one. But yeah, that is pretty much built showcase for today for the new corrupted Abelus. I think after I test it a bunch of times, it's really cool. It's just that I feel like it's kind of close to how you uh, how we built the other secondary gun that I love, which is the Meridian. I think the corrupted Meridian and this gun similar in the sense that like you you actually use the mod to bro blow up enemies like rapidly. But in terms of like gameplay, I think it's really cool that still have the bounciness to it too. Still, I really like it. I think it's interesting, I, and I can't wait to try out some more crafted weapon but thank you again guys for watching and don't forget to tell me in the comment below what you think about this build and what i could do to make it better or things like that and i can't wait to see you guys on the next video that's it from me and bye bye